Hello Year 4 and welcome to your final maths lesson of the week. It is Friday the 15th of January and this is also our last uh, maths lesson in the mental subtraction unit. So this is lesson 8 and our last one for this unit is to subtract by finding the difference between two four digit numbers by counting on. Um, probably one of the nicer um, maths ones to end on because we're going to be counting on to do subtraction rather than counting backwards. Okay, let's start today then. What number have I made today? Hopefully you can tell me quite quickly. There are two thousands, two hundreds, one ten and two ones. So I have made 2,212. Again, if you can think of a fact for this number and another one and even another one. Okay, from 2,212, which I've now written in this yellow box, can we subtract 2,208 from this number using our counters? So what happens if we were to take these? Now we could take these, but we'd need to um, exchange, sorry, uh, because there aren't enough ones, then we'd need to exchange from the tens, then the hundreds, then the thousands. So we don't have enough ones at the moment. So what I would have to do is cross out my tens and I would have to add in 10 ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so once I have exchanged and I've made sure I've got enough in my ones column, I can then start subtracting. So I need to subtract 2208. So eight of the ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are zero tens uh, to subtract, two of the hundreds and two of the thousands. So what I am left with is four ones because there's nothing in this uh, column, nothing in this column and nothing in this column. Is there an easier way to do that though? Would it have been easier to do what I just did with the counters to exchange or to count on? So I'd start at my number take away, which is what I just did, or shall I start at the 2208 and count up? So we do 2208, 2209, 2210, 2211, or two, and 2212. So I still got the same four answer, but I didn't have to do all that exchanging. Maybe a simpler way to do it. Let's try with the next one. What number have I made here? And again, hopefully you can tell me I've made 5,100, zero tens, three ones, 5,103. Again, if you can tell me a fact about this or think about it in your head and another and another. Okay. 5,103 then. I'm just checking because again, Miss Fowler has made just an error because it was 5,103. What happens if we subtract 5,097? Again, I could start exchanging all of my counters to show you, but can we do it in a different way? Can I start at 5,097 in my head and count on? So let's try and do that together. 5,907, 5,908, 5,909, 5,910, 5,911, 5,009. Oh, what's Miss Fowler done? Miss Fowler can't count. Miss Fowler can't say what number she's starting from. So we're going to start that again. The number is 5,097, not 5,900. So we'll go again. 5,097, 5,098, 5,099, 5,100, 5,101, 5,102, 5,103. So I know the difference between those is six. So just write that question out. We had our 5,103 and I took away 5,097 and it equaled that six. Now, while I said this was going to be easier, you've got to make sure you read the first number and that was my first error today. So hopefully you don't make that error uh, when you do this as well. Okay. 
what would this look like if, uh, on the number line I hear you ask? So we could, um, as, we, as we've done with all of our subtractions and start on the right hand side. So we'd start with 5,702 here and we could count back. But our walk today says we're going to be counting forward to try and help us. So for today, I'm not gonna write that number in first. And instead, I'm going to write this second number in first of all. So I'm going to start on this side and write 7,498. And what we're going to do is make our jumps, but count up as we go. And I need to stop when I get to 7,502. OK, hopefully you're going to count with me. 7,498, 7,499, 7,500. 7,501, 7,502. And if it helps you, you don't have to say the 7,000 each time. You've, we've, we've got to remember it's there. It's not going to be an answer, but we've got to remember that we've got our 7,000. But we could just count 498, 499, 500, 501, 502. And I've done four jumps, so I know that four is going to be my answer. Have a go at another one. 4,204, take away 4,199. So again, this is different to all the other ones. We're gonna start with our second number and we're gonna put 4,199 at the start. And we're going to carry on, we're going to jump on, count on from our Walt until we get to 4,204. Okay, 4,199. 4,200, 4,201, 4,202, 4,203, 4,204. And there you can see I've made one, two, three, four, five jumps. So the answer is going to be five. Does anyone prefer this method at the moment? Just have a think. Is this easier? Is this confusing you because I'm putting the number on the other side? Hopefully it's e an easier way to count on. How about in a bar model then? What would this look like? So we've got 2,203. And we know that one of the parts, or the biggest part in this case, is 1,997. So again, we're just going to start at this bottom number and count on until we get the gap, until we, get, until we reach the whole number, which is 2,203. OK, 1,997 in your head, 1,998. 1,999, 2,000, 2,001, 2,002, 2,003. And I'm going to pause there because I know that the majority, we got up to six here. Now on this question, there's a lot of difference between the 2,000. So maybe I think all of yours, I'm going to pause you and I'm just going to check. Okay, what I was able to do there is when I checked is I could see that actually this calculation should be 2003. So we counted up to six to make the correct answer. We could have still worked out that question um, by adding on, but there is quite a big difference and the answer would have been 206, but I made a typo error on that one. Again, it's been a long week of home learning, so I apologize for that, but we did count up until we made 2003. OK, can you have a go at these questions uh, at the top of your book and then we'll go through them together in a moment. Off you go. OK, well done to those of you who had a go at those. Let's check the answers then. And I'm just going to do a number line because it helps. 4,202, take away 4,198. I'm going to start with my 4,198 and I'm going to count on until I get to 4,202. So 4,198, 4,199, 4,200, 4,201, 4,202. So I've done four jumps, so the answer is four. If you've got that answer, give yourselves a tick. And if you needed to write down the number at each stage, that's absolutely fine. Or if you are just counting 198, 199, if you find that easier, that's fine as well. <clears throat> 
Okay, next one then. We have 7,502 and we are taking away 7,598. Again, that should have been a seven. So a huge well done. If you spotted that Miss Fowler made another error today. Going well, it's a Friday, but well done if you spotted that. If you didn't spot that, pause the video again here and see if you can now answer that question again. Okay, well done for having another go at that one. So we're gonna try that again. We're gonna start with our second number, 7,498 here. And we are going to count on until we get to 7,502. Okay, hopefully you're gonna be counting with me. 7,498, 7,499, 7,500, 7,501, 7,502. And again, I'm going to stop there because that's the number we reached. So our answer is four because I've done four jumps. So give yourself another tick if you've got that one right. Okay, scrolling down a little bit. Let's do our last couple of questions. We have something is equal to 5,603, take away 5,597. So my second number, 5,597, I'm going to pop on that end. And it's how many jumps does it take to get to 5,603? Okay, 5597. 5,900, oh no, 5,598, 5,599, 5,600, 5,601, 5,602, 5,603. So I've been made six jumps. So if you've got the answer six, please give yourself a tick. Last but not least then, our final number line I'm needing to draw. We've got nine, uh, something is equal to 9,007, take away 8,998. So I'm gonna start with my 8,998 on this side, and I am counting up until I get to 9,007. Okay, I'm just gonna say the smaller numbers um, because um, we know we'll jump up in just a second anyway. So we've got 8,998, 8,999, 9,000, 9,001, 9,002, 9,003, 9,004, 9,006, and 9,007. So even though I went off my number line a little bit, we've made 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 jumps. So if you had the answer 9, please give yourselves a tick. Okay, hopefully you'll notice that all of our answers seem to be one digit answers at the moment, because the numbers are close enough um, that we can add on and that that's why we'd use this technique over the others because the numbers are quite close together. Okay, let's have a look at our Emmett problem today. Emmett thinks that 4404 take away 4396 is equal to four. Looking at those, we're not quite sure if he's right or wrong yet. Do you agree, disagree? See if you can work out in your head. If not, we can work it out together. So we're gonna start with our second number, 4,396, and we're going to keep adding on. Now, if we add on four to check his answer, we can see if we can reach that answer. 4,396, 4,397, 4,398, 4,399, uh, 4,400. So if we added on the four that he gave the answer to, we'd get to 4,000 exactly, uh, 4,400 exactly, sorry. So we still need another four to get to 4,404. So the actual answer is eight. Well done if you got that before I did. Okay, your turn today then. Your do it challenge, you have five more questions. Um, hopefully all of those, just checking now, all of yours are close enough together that, that they will work for that technique. Um, you then have a go deep challenge um, where Coco has made a mistake. Can you explain why and what she's done? And then you'll go deeper. You'll go deeper task today. We are imagining that the letters A and B are four digit numbers. Any four digit numbers you want them to be. But for the first four digit number, so A, take away the second four digit number B is equal to five. So we need to find two four digit, four digit numbers that have a difference of five. And then it says, can you find possible values for them 
if this tens digit number in both of them are the same, the hundreds digit um, are the same, but the tens are different, and then the thousands digit are different. So there's a few ways to answer that problem. Uh, pause me now and go and have a go, and I wish you luck with that, and then just come back for our um, learning pit slide. Off you go. Okay, well done for having a go at those. I can't wait to see your answers. And I know Mrs. Plews and Mrs. Cross can't wait either. Just have a think about where you are on the learning pit after today. Did you find the counting on confusing? Did you find it really helped you? Um, how did you get out of the learning pit if you were in there at the beginning of the lesson? And how have you found the whole of this mental subtraction unit? Have you found it easy? Have you found it tricky? Do you think column subtraction would be easiest for the everything? Up for you to decide. But a huge, huge well done for another great week of maths work. And I look forward to seeing you again next week. Hope you are staying safe and I will speak to you soon. Bye for now.